I wasn't going to discuss, well, I was kind of on the fence. I wasn't really going to discuss it until I had a more of a talk with myself and realized that uh, there was probably a little bit more that I can add to this because I, I feel a certain way uh, about the entire James Gunn situation, him getting fired. I personally thought that, call me foolish, but I personally thought that um, James Gunn and Roseanne Barr were both going to get their jobs back. <clears throat> I think that Roseanne could have gotten her job back if she had stuck with her promise. Or not, not, I'm not going to say stuck with her promise. Let me re rephrase that. She was supposed to go on Joe Rogan's podcast. And that's as real as it gets. Joe Rogan had already spoke up for her. You know, he had a conversation with her. She was supposed to do his show. She should have immediately did his show. She does 15 other shows. Then she, I don't know what show she did when she started spazzing out. Going, oh, I thought she was wine. That just did not look good. The moment that she made that mistake, she should have went a Rogan show. Had a dialogue. You know, save face. I think she would have gotten her job back. She just made things worse. You know, so <clears throat> with that being the case, she blamed whatever that sleeping pill is. But now, wh what other pill do you blame? Because you keep going on these shows, spazzing out, you know, making it worse and worse. And now you lose your show. Look, I'm all for jokes. That's just me. I come from a sick sense of humor, you know, I can take a joke, I could take a, a, a nigger joke when it's done, you know, from any ethnicity, I could take a black joke when it's done, you know, when it makes me laugh, you know, if it's corny, it's just going to be corny, you can usually tell when something's coming from hate, it's coming from hate, you know, I just didn't see it from her, you know, and in my opinion, you know, it just is what it is. I think that we are in an environment where things are hyper, hyper sensitive. You know, I mean, like they were fucking calling Michael Rappaport a fucking racist at one point. You know, and if anybody knows Michael Rappaport, they know that Michael Rappaport pushes buttons and he talks shit. He's a shit talker. That's just what he does, you know. So, I mean, it's just at a point, you know, we are at a all time high with all this bullshit that's going on out here. But when it, you know, transitions into the Hollywood, it's it's a very, very slippery slope, sticky situation. Gaga, doo-doo, doo-doo, gaga. You know, when it comes with saying certain things and how people react slash overreact a lot of times. I did not see what James Gunn put up. On what's it on uh, Twitter or whatever it was years ago, and someone you know fucking found it and came back up and shot him in the face with it. But look, Louis C.K. said a uh, hilarious, a uh, fucking hilarious joke about pedophilia, and I think he did say it on SNL. Um, and this is what two three years ago. And I thought this shit was fucking funny. Now, had he not got caught up in his own scandal, I'm not even sure if anyone would have mentioned it because they didn't mention it, you know, recently. I didn't hear anything about it, you know, but I don't read everything. So it is what it is. Um, we have to start distinguishing what's a joke and what's reality. If we found out that Gunn was involved with pedophilia, all right, we got to usher you. The hell on out of this game. You're done. You know, we got to, you know, kick you to the door. You know, certain people are still trying to run from it. Brian Singer. Um, and they're eventually going to get caught. It's going to, you know, implode as much as, you know, th these type of people are trying to, you know, uh, uh, I'm not saying they're necessarily going to go to jail. Anyway. 
I'm not going to even go, go down that road. I don't think that he should have, I don't think that, you know, he should have lost his job um, over a joke. It is what it is. And I'm seeing, the reason why I'm saying this whole thing is because, as I said, we're getting uber sensitive. And I'm going to make this very bold prediction. Within the next two to three years, it's probably going to take until the re-election of Trump. You know, can that'll probably be the last time when people will sound off. But if anyone's out here trying to get into the industry, singer, dancer, actor, whatever it is, filmmaker, whatever it is, it would be in your best interest to, if you're able to reach out to anybody, you know, if you're already in contact with someone through social media as that you know, has allowed as a gateway to, you know, uh, speak with, you know, uh, personalities and celebrities and things of that nature. Uh, case in point, uh, hip hop star, um, fabulous. But two years ago for the summer shootout album, a young lady hit him up on Twitter and said, Hey, you know, when are you going to have me on your album? And he put her on the album and, you know, helped her career out and gave her some leverage. Uh, and then he also went to radio and said, look, don't everybody think that you're going to hit me up. And all of a sudden, you you know, you're going to get put on. It was just a special case where she just timed it. You know, but social media has allowed us access now to reach out and touch that. I'm telling you now, by the way everything's going, that's slowly going to get taken away. Mark my words. Those, the, the, these little, you know pleasantries that we've been allowed to enjoy um, as far as interacting, you know, on the IGs and FBs and the Twitters and all this other stuff with these celebrities, some of them, they're going to they're gonna bow out because you're hearing things about people cleaning out their Twitters, their tweets, and this and that. So you're going to have a lot of people scrubbing out all their data, getting rid of it. So it's not at the public eye um, at all. Any little joke, any little such and such, they're going to clean all that ish up. And then it's going to get to a point where, you know, um, I mean, it's already at a point where, you know, even if if James Gunn right now makes a tweet, he's going to get bashed. Oh, what are you doing? Because I've, se- I've read it. I've seen it. Okay. Oh, what makes you think you could tweet? You're uh, into such and such. And and it's it's, social media has given people the voiceless a voice and they're um, abusing the hell out of it. It has it has its good points and it has its bad points. And you're starting to see the the ugly head rear now, you know, so the hypersensitivity is going to cause a lot of celebrities, a lot of personalities, a lot of whatever business people even to clean out their whole profile, clean out all their ish, and they're going to start pulling back. So all little things, oh, I got a chance to talk with, you know, uh, Henry Cavill, who got blasted a few weeks ago for saying what he said about, the, you know, dating. And I totally understood it. And I and, and being a, if I was a celeb, being one, I would totally stand by and be like, yo, I totally understand what the hell he's talking about. And I would have never apologized for what? It's what you feel. When you make someone apologize, you're not going to make their feelings go away. <laughs> you know, unless they see something differently, they're going to apologize to keep the peace. You know, they're not going to apologize to, you know, uh, oh, yeah, I've changed my whole life around because of what I said was wrong. But I get it. You know, he's in a high profile. He doesn't want to be put in situations. You know how many men have been accused? Many famous men have been accused of rape. You know, and you're sensitive about him making, you know, a comment about, you know, I have to be very, very careful. And, you know, maybe I'm just going to chill because I don't want to be accused of anything. I want to be accused of rape. And everybody goes ape shit over that. It's one of those you damn if you do, you damn if you don't situations, if you ask me, because if he got accused of rape, then everybody be bashing him on that. You know, so it just. Watch, I'm telling you, you're gonna you're gonna lose your celebrities. Any contact that you had with these people, you can slowly kiss goodbye. 
it's going to go. You know, I don't know. I don't know who is going to be the person that's going to be the last straw, that brick. That's going to be like, you know what? I'm done. F this. I'm finished. And then everyone else is going to, you know what? I'm following behind you. I'm following behind her. I'm following behind him. I'm, I'm done. And it, they're all, you know, the underground email, the, the celebrity, the underground celebrity email, you know, that we don't know about is going to pop up and everyone's been and, you know, simultaneously or one by one, they're all going to get off of these platforms and you will no longer have access or as much access, you know, that you once had, you know, so it is what it is. That's my piece on that. You know, suck it, soak on it, think about it, love it, leave it, hate it, grieve it. It is what it is.